Hello, I'm George Ura, recording for ICIT. In last week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast, we learned how to insert a file name and path into your document. This week, we are going to look at how you can automate the process. If it's something you are going to do frequently, it might be cumbersome to do it every time when you start a new document. There is a way to have Word do it automatically with one click of a mouse. So let's have a look. I already have a document, but as previously, uh, the document we looked at in last week's episode, it doesn't have the file name at the bottom of the document. We are going to insert it, that's something we did last week, but this time we are going to create a simple macro that will record our actions and then be able to repeat them instantly. A macro is simply a recording of what you do which Microsoft Word can then repeat with one click of a button. So before I add the path and file name to the footer of my document, I will tell it to record. How do you do that? Well, on the ribbon, we will go to the Developer tab. And in the Developer tab, we have one choice on the left here, which is called Record Macro. I will click that. Now, there are a couple of things we need to do before we start recording. The first is giving our macro a name. I will call it insert file name and path. The names for macros should not include any special characters. They can also not include spaces. So it might look somewhat strange, but you need to type the words together. A good way to make it clearer is to start each word with a capital letter. This way you can read it and tell easily what it is. Great. Let's make sure, just in case, that on the store macro in, we have all documents normal.m selected. What that means is that the macro we record is going to be accessible to all the documents that you create. If you selected the second choice, which is the current name of the document we're now editing, the macro would be stored with this document and that means it would only be accessible in this document. So we don't want that, we want all documents. There is an area for a description and I will just say inserts a field with a file name and full path into the footer of my document. Great. Before we click OK and start recording, let's actually check this button here, the button called button. I will click. This just created my macro, normal new macro, insert file name. And if I select this macro, which doesn't look exactly because it starts with normal and then new macro, but it is my newly created macro. It will let me add this to my quick access toolbar. And this is something that I do want to do. So I will select it on the left and then click the add button. And it added this macro at the very end. And I will click modify and we'll give it some icon that is something I will quickly and easily recognize. Well, Let's say I would like um, this one. Great. Now we can click OK. And the moment we do, Microsoft Word is going to start recording our actions. OK. And as you can see now, right where we had record macro, it says stop recording. We will not stop yet. First, we have to insert the file name into the footer of our document. We'll repeat the same steps that we did last week. If you want to see that explained in detail, I encourage you to check out the episode number 10. And so I will go to insert tab and we'll select footer and then edit footer. Once it's here, I will go back to insert and quick parts and we'll select field. And in the field, I will select F for file name, we'll make sure add path to file name is selected. Uh, we'll make sure format is selected to none and we'll click OK. Then I will press Control A to select everything. 
we'll go to home tab we'll reduce the size of this to eight and we'll make sure that it's right aligned that's how I like it then I will click on top here and close so this way I am back in my document at the same insertion point where I started and now I'm ready to go to the developer tab and tell it to stop recording my macro and there we are great we are almost done now let's test it on a new document so I will go to my button and create new and just choose blank document create and as you can see we have a document with nothing at the bottom of the page now if what I created works this document is currently called document 2 because we haven't saved it but if I click this newly created button here that says normal new macros insert file name and path it should follow my steps and instantly insert fully formatted footer at the bottom of this page let's try it I'll click and as you can see it inserted document 2 we currently don't have the path to the file because it's not yet saved so let's try it again and this time let's save our document first I will create yet another new document and I will press Control S to save it and I will call it try it out I will save it actually on my desktop and click Save and now as you can see there is nothing at the bottom but I will go and click my macro button on the quick quick access toolbar and right now we have full file name plus path at the bottom of the document with just one click of a button so that's it for this week's Microsoft Office feature of the week podcast I hope you will join me next week I'm George Ura recording for ICIT thank you